Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Obviously Valentine's is just around the corner so I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of inspiration of what you could potentially do for your Valentine's glam. It's clearly in the full glam category, don't get me wrong. So if you ask somebody who likes something a little bit more softer, something that's a bit more wearable, I'll definitely come up with a tutorial for you guys soon. But without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to be starting by prepping my lips and this is honestly my favourite at the moment. It's the Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask. They're very viral on TikTok and I've got the shade, not the shade, I've got the flavour Gummy Bear. Of course, we're going to be starting off with our eyebrows as usual, and I am going to be taking the Exo Beauty Brow Shaping Gel. So I've been wearing this to work a lot the last couple of days, just because I want to let you know, really try it out, really test the product. Like I said in my last video, it does the exact same job as the Brow Freeze. It may not give like that fully laminated look, which is what I quite like. It still does a really good job at sticking my hairs down. So I'm going to use my finger and press that down just to see if that changes anything i am actually getting my brows laminated tonight i'm so excited because i've only had my brows laminated once and it was good but the people that did it it was a student who was training so it was a free service but it didn't really last as long as like it was meant to maybe in your brows laminated it is meant to last about seven to eight weeks but for some reason it only lasts two okay so that is what it looks like flattened down and that's exactly how i like my brows to look whenever i'm doing like that laminated look This brush, literally the spoolies coming out. To be honest, these Morphe Nikita brushes are actually not really good quality. Oh my god, yeah, look at that. That's just popped off. I bought them like maybe a year or two ago. But I just feel like Morphe brushes in general aren't that good quality if you get it in a set. The only brushes I really like from Morphe is when you buy them separately. For example, like this one here, this is the Morphe V102. This one works really well. And Makeup by Ariel brushes with Morphe, they're so good. I'm gonna let that brow gel just to stay for a bit, give it some time to dry. Okay, so I really wanted to fill in my eyebrows using the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Brow Definer pencil, but I can't find it. So we're just gonna go with our Benefit Volumizing Brow Pencil, which is okay because this will fill in a lot more quicker. Also another thing about that brow gel that I really like is that it doesn't make your brow hairs feel crunchy. Extend the hairs down a bit. Now we're just going to take our concealer and use this as our eye base as usual. Considering I'm running out of this concealer, there's still a lot left that I can like scrape along the edges. Like I've got heaps. I need to dampen my beauty blender. Blend out all this concealer. Going in with some translucent powder, any powder, and setting that concealer in place. Because it is Valentine's Day and a couple of maybe like a week, two weeks. Maybe by the time I post this video, it's probably already gonna be February, but it's gonna be February very shortly. So I'm thinking of using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Primrose Palette. It's been a hot minute since I've used this palette on myself. That's the shade range there. It's got like a really nice range of like pinks, purples, peachy colors. It's really good for bridal. I love using it in bridal. And no, that is not my favorite shade. Unfortunately, it just came smashed, so. Love that for me, dear. I'm also thinking of doing like a full glam look because I love a full glam. So these are a blush and a contour, but you can use them as like your eyeshadow as well. But we're going to be taking the shade Grapefruit as our transition color and just popping this all over the lid. And we are going to wing it out a little bit because I do want it to be not dramatic, but a little bit of drama. And just putting the lightest amount of pressure on my brush and just gently buffing out the outer edge of the eyeshadow. Now I'm just going to deep up our transition using the saddle shade right here. Now I like this brown shadow because it's not like a fully neutral brown. It's got like a slight orange tone to it. So it blends quite nicely with that peach shade. And we're focusing the shade in our crease area only. And just going back in with our big fluffy brush. Taking more of that grapefruit shade and just using that to buff out the edge a little bit more. So I do want to infuse like a little bit of the purple shades. I quite like these purples that are in this palette. So I'm going to take the shade Claret. Claret? Claret? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's just that lighter purple shade here. And we're just going to pop this in the inner and the outer corner only. What I like to do when I do my halo eyes, I just like to pack on the actual shade before I blend it. So now that I've built up the intensity that I'm wanting, I am going to blend it into the crease area. So I'm just going to take my Sephora Precision Brush and we're going to take the darker purple shade now. Just this deep berry shade right here. With this, I do just want to keep it as close to the inner and outer corner as possible. I don't want to blend it up too much. I'm just popping that in those areas.
taking my small blending brush that I used for the lighter purple shade and I'm just going to use that just to blend it out a little bit more. For the fun bit, we're going to be filling up this space and we're going to be taking, I don't know, I, I really like these two, the rose water and peony shades. That's that rose water shade there. It's kind of like a rose gold champagne-y color. That is the peony shade. So I'm thinking I might use that. I feel like it'll go quite nicely with these colors here. So I'm just going to take another flat eyeshadow brush and some setting spray. This is my Sephora setting spray. I haven't used this on so long. I'm just going to literally drench my brush in the setting spray. So this is a really good technique. If you want to make a metallic or shimmer shade pop even more, just spray with some setting spray and pick up the product and you'll see the difference. Every time I show my clients at work, they're always like, oh my god, well done. You've come to the right place and you've asked the right person for help. Nah. Get this all over that empty space. Now, just with that small precision brush that we use for our darker purple, I'm just going to use the excess just to tap along the edges of the peony shade just to kind of blend it in a little bit. And take some micellar water now and just clean up the eye area. Now I am going to go with my Huda Beauty Life Liner and I'm just going to add a very thin line just across my top lash line. I don't know, maybe I might add a little bit of a wing. Our wing liner is on. I love how I said that I'm going to make it a very thin liner. Whatever you say just never works. It always turns out opposite, but it looks good. It still gives that glam effect to the eye, which I'm very excited for. So now I'm going to take my Sephora Size Up Mascara. I'm just obsessed with this mascara. It's honestly my go-to. I feel like with mascara, it's one of those things that when you find a really good one that you love, it's just like, why would you change? Why would you bother trying other ones? I'll be taking this set and then cutting them in half, as you guys already know. I've cut off a little bit less than I normally do, but I quite like that length. I know people like to use tweezers, but honestly, just use your hands. They're right there. May as well put them to use, right? Oh, okay. I'm going to do the other eye off camera as usual, and then we'll continue with the face. Our eyes are done. And I'm so excited. I'm actually really happy with how this is looking so far. Before we jump to foundation like we usually do, I'm actually going to prep my skin using the Natasha Denona Skin Glass. It's a serum and a primer. Skin Glass Primer by Natasha Denona. Love it. This product's really good. I'm just going to read a little description of what's actually in it and what the benefits are of it because I absolutely love this product. Not only for the hydration, but just for the way it looks and how you can actually use it. So not only does it have hyaluronic acid in it, but it's also got natural moisturizing sugars and powerful humectants. I think that's how you pronounce it. With double moisturizing action, which immediately supplies hydration. It's meant to last up to 72 hours. You can use it as a primer. You can actually add it to your moisturizer as well as your foundation if you want a bit more of a glowy sort of look. But today, I think we'll just add it as a primer. I don't know if you can see, but that's like the luminosity it has. I'm gonna pop that all over my skin. Every time I rub products in my face, it always goes red. My skin's looking very glowy, very radiant, nice and fresh. We'll try this today. I'm still kind of getting the hang of it. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. I'll probably say it's like medium to full coverage. It kind of depends. I'm just gonna do like a swatch on my face. I'm just gonna take my double ended at Cosmetics brush and just kind of like buff it into the skin. You do want to make sure it's warmed up before applying because I feel like it blends a lot easier. Honestly, a cosmetics brush I absolutely love. I've got this one and the blush brush. They're just like really good. They're very soft. They're really easy to clean. They don't shed. And I like to use the smaller brush at the end just to like kind of get around the creases and whatnot. And I'm just going to use this to like shape out my top part of the brow. I feel like I should start using this a little bit more because it's actually working really nice with that primer. As you guys already know, I always like to leave a space underneath my eyes just so I can use it for concealer only. Pretty obvious reasons, like you just don't want your under eye area to be quite thick, quite cakey. That can really make it crease throughout the day. Our foundation is all nice and blended. It looks really nice and glowy, very dewy, which is awesome. I'm now going to pop on some cream blush. I'm going to go with my Rare Beauty Nearly Neutral because I haven't used this one in a while. I think it'll complement this look quite nicely. Now, I should probably clean this, but I can't be bothered, so I'm just going to pop my blush straight onto my dirty brush. I'm just popping that on the higher part of our cheekbone. So this is probably infused with the Rebity Liquid Blush Joy, which is why it's kind of got like that orangey look. So I still have a little bit of product on my brush, but I'm not mad at it. 
Mounting blushes are actually really nice as well. A lot of people do prefer the liquid ones. If you're kind of new to, to liquid cream blushes, I would definitely recommend trying out the mounting ones first. They're so easy to use. Put a little bit on my nose because we all know that's trending right now, right? And then I'm just going to pop a little bit on my forehead as well. I'm going to add our Tarte Powerflex Concealer to our under eyes. little on the nose and chin this is kind of a bit old school but i just feel like doing it today i don't know why i'm just gonna do it like this so i'm just gonna pop it underneath like that so now we're gonna let that concealer set for about 30 seconds or so just so when we blend it out it has a more full coverage appearance to it so yes we'll wait for that i'm just gonna go in with the bottom my cosmetics brush that i use for my foundation and i'm just gonna blend out that concealer I haven't dampened my beauty blender so that's why I'm not using that today but I actually might for the under eye area once I'm done blending out with brush just to make sure it's all like evenly blended out, you know? Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder, you guys know the drill in the shade Pound Cake. I have actually been seen on TikTok, I think it's Maybelline. They've got like a powder foundation and I really want to try that out. I'm not too sure if it's here in New Zealand. I don't know, when I see people apply it on TikTok, it almost looks like it kind of just blends and mounts into the skin quite nicely. So I'd love to try that out. I'm just setting my entire face, but starting with the under eye area and then using the excess for the rest of the face. So quickly pop on some bronzer. You probably don't even need it because of all this blush, but we'll just add it for a little bit of something, right? Just to say that we've got bronzer on, but mainly to our forehead because we need that. We need that to be a little bit smaller, don't we? I saw this little hack on TikTok. I'm gonna try it out. If it fails, whatever. Grab your, your baking powder, your loose powder, and you want to bake along the under eye area, just around here. Just popping our baking on. You just go and take your blush, so I'm going to go back and just load it up, load up my brush. So pretty much when you pop the baking, you just literally go over top of your blush. And don't be afraid to go underneath the under eye as well. I feel like the blend between the blush and the loose powder looks quite nice, but I don't know if it's actually done anything amazing. I'm going to pop on some highlight. So I finally got rid of my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Pretty sure I've mentioned it before on YouTube, but I've had that for like five to six years. It's way past its expiry date. Just an excuse to buy something new. So that's what it looks like, a lovely pearl tone. It's the shade Mesmerize. I'm just going to pop this. Like, look at that. Look how stunning that is. Better highlight formula is just so nice. It's so buttery, so easy to blend. Put some on our nose. Bridge. A little bit on the forehand, just cause. I'm gonna add more on the cheek. <laughs> I think there's like four, maybe five shades. Wait, there's Enlighten, Accelerate, Mesmerize, Flaunt. I think there might be one more. I'm pretty sure those are the names. If not, sorry. You know what? I might actually add some in the inner corner of my eye too when we get up to that bit. I'm actually just gonna take a really small eyeliner brush and just dip it into that highlight and just pop it over here, like just on the brow bone. Do you guys remember when people would do that? I'm gonna go with my Sephora smudge brush and I'm gonna take the shade Grapefruit and just smoke out underneath my lower lash line. And then just using that same brush, I'm gonna take the shade, we'll go with Claret, Claret, that light purple shade, and we'll use that just to deepen up our lower lash line. So take the excess that was on this smaller fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to use it to kind of make it a bit more smoky. And we're just going to go straight into our Ray Beauty highlight again and we're going to add that to our inner corners. Yeah, that looks really nice. And of course, just to make this look pop even more, we're going to go in for our Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Pencil. And I keep leaving the lid off because if you leave the lid off, it dries the product out. So I have to like warm it up on my hand again before I pop it onto my eye. It's so annoying. Because it is dried out, it doesn't apply as black as I'd like it. So we're now going to put some mascara on our bottom lashes. Because our eye look is quite strong, it's quite bold. Maybe we just do like a nude for our lip. But I kind of want to do a deep nude. So I'm going to take my Mickey Maxima palette pencil. And this is in the shade Super. So this is like a really dark brown. I'm just going to use my finger as I usually do. And just like buff out the liner. 
And this is literally the completed look. I hope you guys all enjoy this video. This look is definitely more appropriate, I would say, for like an evening wear. If you have a dinner date planned for Valentine's Day, it will be absolutely perfect. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in my next YouTube video. Bye!